Hello everybody and welcome back to another NBA 2K21 rebuild. This time we are doing pick number three, the Cleveland Cavaliers. So in my first two rebuilds, I had the Pistons take Cade Cunningham and I had the Rockets take Evan Mobley. And with this pick, I have Cleveland Cavaliers taking Jalen Green. So a lot of people wonder what the Cavaliers are gonna do this off season. This is basically gonna be a video on what I think they're gonna do. Uh, as far as the main points, I might try to roll with Colin Sexton for a little bit, or I might try to trade him. Jared Allen's gonna be our long-term center, and we have to try to find a way to get off of Kevin Love. But for now, Jalen Green will probably be a nice six man for this Cleveland Cavaliers team. As you can see here, that I took Jalen Green overall with the third with the third overall pick. I took Jalen Green, he's an 80 overall. Probably gonna come off the bench for us. Gonna see what I wanna do with Colin Sexton. I haven't really made a decision yet, but the first thing I'm gonna do is re-sign Jared Allen, and I'll see you guys after that. Sorry, before we get to free agency, as far as um, team player options, um, Isaiah Hartenstein did decline his player option, didn't plan on bringing him back, and Dean Wade and Domain Dotson. Uh, I'm also not going to bring back um, as far as the qualifying offers. I'm going to give it to Jarrett Allen, but I'm going to try to sign him to a long-term deal first. I will come back when I sign him, or I'll tell you guys if he's back on a qualifying offer. So as you guys can see here, I offered him a five years contract, but he ended up taking the one-year qualifying offer. That will make him an unrestricted free agent next season, but I'm going to decline the rights on everybody else, giving us around $15 million in cap space possibly, maybe a little bit less than that. Um, 8 million that will give us a chance to sign a backup point guard and with that backup point guard role I'm probably just going to roll with a guy who's played in the league for a long time So I'm just gonna go TJ McConnell on a one year on a two-year team option one and one and He accepts that so I'll see you guys at player progression here at player progression We see Colin Sexton continue to get better Jarrett Allen's kind of stuck I'm gonna make sure to send him to potential camp um, Darius Garland keeps getting better. Kevin Love went up. I'm going to play Kevin Love for at least one more season, then maybe try to trade him after that once he's an expiring contract. Uh, Jalen Green, an 80. TJ McConnell. Isaac Okoro continues to get better. Larry Nance, Windler, um, and Torian Prince. Torian Prince, I believe, is his last year of his deal. Um, yep, it's the last year of his deal. He's not that great. He makes $13 million, so I'll just eat the rest of his salary. I'd like to be bad again with this team this year, so we'll see what goes on, and uh, let's go to training camps real quick. So as far as training camps, I think it's pretty straightforward. We're going to go over here to potential. Uh, Jalen Green's a A+. Plus. We're going to send it to Garland. And then definitely Allen. And I'm unsure of what I want to do with Colin Sexton right now. But um, he progresses pretty well in this game. So I'm going to give it to Okoro for the final one. Three for three. And uh, I'll be back with I, what I choose my rotation to be. As far as the rotation goes, we're going to go with Darius Garland at the 1, Colin Sexton at the 2, Okoro, Kevin Love, Jarrett Allen. Then off the bench, a lot of minutes to green with 30 off the bench, third most, fourth most amount of minutes, or six man. TJ McConnell with some nice bench depth, Larry Nance Jr. and Dylan Windler. Only going to roll with nine guys. Don't see the point in playing Torian Prince. Make sure it's only nine guys for J.B. Bickerstaff. And then as far as system proficiency, we will go with seven seconds or less. So let's see how we do after our first season after dra drafting um, Jalen Green and signing Jarrett Allen to a long-term contract. Uh, coming back here, we are 30 and 23 halfway through the season at the trade deadline. Only notable moves that I've made so far is signed um, Larry Nance Jr. to a long-term extension. But Although we are doing really, really well, I don't see this working somehow with Jalen Green and Sexton, one of them being off the bench and not being all that happy. So right now I'm going to try to look for a trade for Colin Sexton to see who I can bring in for this team. Um, as far as real life, I could really see somehow them getting this done with uh, a couple of teams, especially the 76ers, if they were willing to move on from Ben Simmons. But I'm not going to move on from uh, Colin Sexton unless it's something that I really, really like. I do like... Um, Tyrese Halliburton, uh, Mitchell. Uh, we're kind of set as far as center. Uh, Sadiq Bay from the Pistons I actually really like, but that doesn't seem realistic at all. Yusuf Nurkic, Davian Mitchell, Thomas Bryant. Um, hmm. Okay, as far as Colin Sexton, um, what if we did a 76ers... Uh, 76ers Ben Simmons trade uh, none are interested in uh, Tobias Harris hmm Chris Middleton would actually be pretty nice let's see if we can try to get Chris Middleton um, 
you know what? This is going to be our big trade for the day. Um, we're going to go after Chris Middleton. This will help me move off this Kevin Love contract and the Colin Sexton thing. And then I'll also get a young Dante DiVincenzo who's a more fit to be better off the bench. And Chris Middleton, I know 2K doesn't value him very highly, but I think he's a pretty good player. And it helps me get off this whole Love thing. So I'm good with it. This is the trade that we're going with. You can see the Cavaliers doing this in real life, but I could never see the Bucs doing it. But, you know... This isn't the most realistic of rebuilds, but as far as the game plan moving forward, we are not going to start TJ McConnell. That is not happening. Um, we are going to move Green into the starting lineup. We're going to keep him here, him here. Uh, actually, Okoro will now be heading to the bench uh, for Middleton, who will be playing a lot of minutes. Let's bring Middleton up. Swap him out for a Coro. Larry Nance doesn't really like the fact that he's playing a lot of minutes, but he's going to have to get used to it. DiVincenzo off the bench is going to get a lot of minutes as well. So, yeah. Um, Isaac Okoro, we're going to drop the minutes down. We're going to boost him up here. A couple more minutes here. A couple more here, DiVincenzo will be the starter, Windler, Osman, here, Middleton will bring down a 30, bring that up, bring that down, bring that up. So, yeah, this is our post-trade, we're going with Green, we're going with Garland and Green, Greenland, Middleton, Nance, Allen, um, McConnell, Dante DiVincenzo, as far as scoring the basketball, uh, I set some options before this but I'm actually probably going to go with Chris Middleton as the second scoring option now after Jalen Green. Let's see how the rest of this season goes. Uh, I think we'll end up making the playoffs if we played the way we did in the first half of the season, so I'll see you guys at the end of season awards. So we are at the end of here of season one. LeBron MVP, Cade Rookie of the Year, Spencer Dinwiddie, Jonathan Isaac, Tyrese Maxey, Frank Vogel, LeBron James, of course. As far as all NBA teams, I doubt we see any Cavaliers on here except for Jalen Green, all NBA rookie team, all NBA rookie first team, which is awesome. Um, we did not make the playoffs with a winning record this year. That's actually quite surprising. But uh, I bet we were pretty close. We were probably the nine seed. Um, player stats, Jalen Green, awesome year. 22 points per game. Really, really nice. Uh, shot the ball really well. Uh, Jarrett Allen, he's shoot around 17 points per game. He's still disturbed with the situation somehow. Uh, Middleton's pretty happy. Garland is not happy, but I like the way that they're playing. I might up Dante Givincenzo's shot tendency, um, but yeah, I like the way this team played in the first year. I'm looking to build off of it next season, but let's see who sticks around and who doesn't. Um, boof. So, yeah, I guess we'll just see who sticks around and who doesn't. Let's see real quick who wins the NBA playoffs. Uh... Lakers win, and LeBron's your finals MVP, fifth ring, and fifth finals MVP for LeBron. Simulated ahead quite a bit, didn't do anything different with the coaching staff, but we did have a draft. We took Musa Diabiti out of LSU, and also took a Swedish point guard who's a 52. I think the rest of these guys are pretty made up, so I'm not going to bring them back, but I am going to take uh, Diab Diabiti, Diabati, whatever his name is. As far as player options, we're definitely accepting Garland, Okoro. Uh, going to bring TJ McConnell back. He actually had a really nice year for us last year as the backup point guard. And then Lamar Stevens. Sorry, Penn State. But you're going to have to cut you off there. We're going to send those four back. Um, qualifying offers. We're going to send one to Dante DiVincenzo. Chasan Randall. I'm not 100% sure about. We'll send it to him just to be safe. Um, moratorium. So we have bird rights on Jarrett Allen, but he was kind of pissed at us at the end of the year. But he is going to let us sign him to the super max contract. Um, kind of disappointed about it. Might down the numbers a little bit. Front load the contract, of course. Um, so, yeah, if I'm front loading it, then I'll try to pay him more money. Um, he might be pretty pissed about that offer. Let's see. Nope, he decides to sign. We are going to renounce the rights on everybody but Dante DiVincenzo. I'd like to bring him back, if I'm being 100% honest. So, we can bring back Jarrett Allen. Uh, we still have Dante DiVincenzo to give a contract to restricted free agent. So, I actually kind of like this amount of money for Dante. Uh, not the best, not the worst. Around 14, 15 million. Uh, I hope he develops a little bit more. Gets it to uh, like an 81, 82. But, we're going to give it to Dante DiVincenzo and see if he accepts that contract. He will. And we're happy with that. So, that's the end of our free agency period. I'll see you guys at Player Progression. So, after the official first season, um, Jarrett Allen is starting to get better. That is good. Uh, Jalen Green went up five spots. Darius Garland slowly improving. 
Uh, Middleton is kind of evening out. He's on the last year of his deal. I don't know if I want to bring him back next year. I might look to trade him halfway through the season. Okoro is improving as well. Dante DiVincenzo, Windler, and TJ McConnell is getting a bit worse. And our starting power for it's not the best, but it is Larry Nance Jr. I did three straight untapped potentials. I did one to Allen, one to Garland, and one to the rookie we drafted this year. Um, that's about it for what I'm going to do in the offseason. Let's look at rotation really quickly. Um, they want us starting Garland, Green, Middleton, Nance, Allen. That's perfect so far. Dr. DiVincenzo is a six-man. Okoro as kind of the seventh guy. TJ McConnell, Windler. And I'm actually going to look to play... Um, actually, you know what? He's not going to play this season, but he will improve just being on the team. So that's kind of the look there. As far as system, system proficiency, we are going to stick with um, balance, actually, this year. I think that's a little bit better for this unit instead of seven seconds or less. So I'm going to go with balance. And uh, we're going to look to have a year we actually made the playoffs. We're 42 and 40 last year. I'll see you guys at the trade deadline if I decide to trade Chris Middleton or not. I'm at the trade deadline. We're actually 35 and 19, one of the best teams in the Eastern Conference. So I know I probably shouldn't be making a drastic trade right now, but I'm going to. Um, so I'm going to trade Chris Middleton and Dylan Windler for TJ Warren and Bojan Bogdanovic. It sounds a little crazy, but hear me out. Um, Chris Middleton actually has a player option after this year for $40 million, which he will accept. And I do not like losing Windler, who I've really liked as a piece on this team, but we already do have a backup shooting guard. So it's not really the worst thing in the world. As far as the other guys, TJ Warren's actually a better overall somehow in this game. And he has no other contract after this year. Both these contracts are expiring. So I'll be taking on these contracts with Bojan, who I don't plan on bringing back next year, and possibly bringing back TJ Warren. But the best thing possible for us is next year we'll have $43 million in cap space. So we're going to try to do something with that. So we have to get rid of this Chris Middleton contract. The team's been doing really well, and we have a great team chemistry. So I might be hurting that a little bit. But I feel like it's worth it to try to be a better team even this year. So as far as the rest of the season, um, as far as the rest of the season, we'll be rolling with a Garland, Green, Warren, Larry Nance, Jarrett Allen, DiVincenzo, Okoro, McConnell, and actually slide our rookie into playing some minutes. He's actually up three overall just from playing this year, and I do not play plan on playing by um, Bogdanovich at all. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season. We should definitely make the playoffs this year. I did just mess with the chemistry a little bit. It went down, but we still should be a good enough team to make the playoffs. Technically, we did kind of improve, so we'll see how 2K thinks that we did. Finally made the playoffs in this year. Um, I'm guessing. I haven't seen yet, but we're 51 and 31, so I doubt we make miss the playoffs. Luca, Chet, Spencer Dinwiddie, Giannis, Corey Kisper, actually really nice, most improved. Rick Carlisle, so the Mavericks were really good. And yeah, let's see if we get anybody. Uh, Cade in his second season on All NBA First Team. Um, do we see anybody? Any of our guys? Oh, Jarrett Allen making All NBA Third Team. That's awesome. Have him sign long term. Let's see, go see quickly what his stats are. He had a career year, averaging 21 points per game. Jarrett Allen, awesome monster season. Um, as far as that, All-NBA defensive team, I thought we could possibly see Jarrett Allen again. We did not. Any rookies up here? No. No rookies up here at all for us. So let's see our matchup. We have the three seed going against the Miami Heat. Uh, let's look at, see what Miami Heat did differently. They actually brought in Shea Gilders Alexander. Oh, my God. Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler, Precious, Bam, Victor Oladipo, Bruce Brown, Taylor Horton Tucker. This is actually a really, really good six seed. I'm surprised to see them at a six seed. Uh, real quick, let's go look at the season stats. Uh, Jalen Green led us in scoring with close to tw 22 points a game again. Really good from him. Jarrett Allen with 21 points per game. Big, uh, big upgrade from his 16 points per game last year. Uh, Darius Garland continues to be a really good player for us. Um, He's still somewhat unhappy. I don't know why. He's playing really good basketball. TJ Warren, Dante DiVincenzo, finally scoring a little bit more points per game. Um, yeah, I really like the output. Could have used a little bit more scoring from Isaac Okoro this year, but we'll see if he finds a way to slip into that starting spot next year at small forward, depending on his progression or unless I sign somebody monster. Uh, this is the last year of TJ McConnell. He's digressing. And our rookie, he's a 78 overall, had a really, really great first year. But let's see what this first round has to offer us. We are going to move through after a six-game series with the Miami Heat. Let's look at the playoff stats real quick. Let's go to our player stats. Monster games from Allen, um, Garland, Green. Really good games. TJ Warren's scoring decreased a little bit. Um, but, hey, uh, up the scoring from Larry Nance Jr. Big playoff 
Larry Nance Jr., who would have thought. Now we're going against the glitchy Atlanta Hawks in this game. So Trey Young, Bogdanovich, Cam Reddish now in the starting lineup, Collins, Clint Capella, DeAndre Hunter, and Yucca Kungu, Dennis Schroeder back on Atlanta, Kevin Herter, Gallinari, Josh Christopher. This is a really nice Atlanta team. I'd be pretty happy if we went six or seven games, but I don't know if we'll win this series. Detroit upsided the four seed. We do win. We win in this round, and now we are taking on the four seeded Chicago Bulls, who have Kobe White, Zach Levine, Patrick Williams, Kyle Anderson now playing their four, Rudy Gobert, Laurie Markinen, Derek Rose back with them. Hey, that's full circle for D Rose. Alex Len, David Nuaba. So I think it's a very winnable series. I'd be pretty happy if we won this one. We actually go up 4-1. Now we play the best team in the 2K Sim, the Pelicans. Could we really win the NBA championship in year two? Kyra Lewis, Kelden, Kellen Johnson, Brandon Ingram, Zion, Zaxon Hayes, Jonas Valanciunas, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, Blake Griffin. Hey, let's see what happens. We get freaking swept in the NBA Finals, but that's way further than I expected to make it this year. So if we don't do have any better seasons after this, I'll be really disappointed. But that was a great season. Brandon Ingram is your Finals MVP somehow over Zion, but he averaged 31 points per game. So can't really be disappointed in that. I will see you guys after the draft and everything and see who I take there and maybe a free agency. So it was the end of J.B. Bickerstaff's final year of his um, contract, so I decided to sign Trent Peterson, who has a little bit better of ratings, and then I also brought in Melvin Hunt, who's just a above average um, assistant coach. So, yeah, I'm really happy with those moves, and now I'll see you guys after the draft with who I take there. As you guys can see, I kind of got screwed with this Radu Flamon guy. Uh, the draft classes later on aren't as good. So he's a 58 overall, but he's a draft in stash. So I'm going to put him in the put him overseas for two years. And if I'm still doing this simulation in two years, I'll think about seeing if I want to bring him back or not. But I doubt it. Uh, as far as team player options, we're going to take Green, Okoro. I'm sorry, Jetty Osman, you're not worth that $6 million. I'm going to be declining your option. Good luck. Um, as far as the rest of the players, we're going to be offering Garland a qualifying offer. Literally, the best thing that could happen here is I get Garland back on this qualifying offer, and then I have at least like $60 million plus to spend in free agency this offseason. So as far as moratorium, as you can see, we have $95 million in cap hold, so we have around $50 million this year. Um, I will try to make a run at Zion. I doubt it happens. Um, but yeah, as far as the rest of the league... Um, TJ Warren's actually not a pretty bad fit, but um, I do need a better four, so I will prioritize the four, so I will make a run and give Zion a max contract. Um, I'll see you guys with who I take. Um, I might not bring back uh, TJ Warren. We'll see kind of where it falls. Uh, I'm going to make a run at all the top free agents, so we'll see who I get. So I'm kind of making a little bit of a strategic play here. Um, Julius Randle wanted to take this contract, but as you can see, it's around... 26 more million dollars than I would have to play Jaron Jackson Jr. So I'm going to bring in Jaron Jackson Jr. to pay be the new two and then that will allow me to also re-sign Darius Garland who has a pretty big cap hold but I'm going to see if I can sign him to a long-term deal but if it doesn't let me he'll be back on the qualifying offer next year but no one's taking Darius Garland for me. I'm going to sign somebody as the backup point guard but we will not see TJ Warren back next year which means that I'm going to roll with Isaac Okoro at three and then also try to make a different couple moves around there maybe pass package Larry Nance with somebody else to get a better small forward so I'll see you guys at the end of free agency but you can expect Darius Garland back on either a long-term offer okay so like I said I was going to bring either um, Darius Garland back on the qualifying offer or a long-term contract I offered him a long-term contract he was not interested but he did try to sign a contract with the Rockets that I was able to match so three years 30 million a year for Garland that will be our starting point guard for the rest of the year we basically have our main group of four right here with Allen Jackson Green Garland and then maybe Okoro he'll be playing minutes off the bench and then Dante DiVincenzo is a long-term stay and Diabody and then I'm not sure about the rest of the guys I did sign Tyus Jones to be our backup point guard this year but I'm gonna try to look around to see if I can bring in a better small forward but besides that this starting five is sick I did three things with my um, train camps. I did an untapped potential to Okoro, and then I did an untapped potential to Diabati, and then I also did a perimeter shooting to Darius Garland. Um, just to let you guys know, I did auto-generate the next class of rookies, which is the 2024 NBA draft, just because um, it's basically crap shoot after 2022. So I just might as well auto-generate after that. But the game plan moving forward is pretty simple. Garland, 
Green, Okoro, who will bring some nice defense, Jackson Jr., Allen, Dante DiVincenzo, Diabati, um, Nance, Jones, and Kent Bazemore will not be getting those minutes, so I am going to fix this manually. This is going to be a couple minutes here, a couple minutes here. Uh, Coro is good where he is at. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this season. Uh, as far as, like, this, I'm going to change the bench depth to 9. First scoring option, obviously Jalen Green. After that, we're going to go Jackson Jr., and then Garland. We have Jarrett Allen pretty much wrapped up long term. So hopefully he's okay with this. Um, it might hurt his confidence a little bit, but we'll see as far as system proficiency. Three and a half balanced. Anything else? Four star, seven seconds. Uh, yeah, we'll go seven seconds this year. It's a little bit better. I really like this team. Um, I'll be back at kind of the halfway point to seeing what I want to do with Isaac Okoro. But I think we're going to be pretty damn good this year. So we'll see. So there's no need for a third power forward on this team. And I really like Larry Nance, but I don't think he's getting it done. And he's got this long-term deal kind of locking up money. So I'm going to bring in a guy who can kind of help us who's a little bit younger. Uh, I do like Larry Nance, so it's sad to move on. And I am getting rid of my first-round pick next year. But I don't know how much value that has currently with um, auto-generated rookies. So as far as that, I'm just going to bring in Josh Hart to play like a solid. Basically what the minutes that... Um, Basically, the minutes that Larry Nance was playing, but I'm going to spread them to Josh Hart instead just because, you know, Josh Hart's a younger guy and he fills a position that I don't have. So now I have a little bit more of a uh, solid bench with a little bit more depth because of DiVincenzo being a shooting guard, uh, Diabiti being a power forward, Josh Hart being a small forward, and Tyus Jones being a point guard. But as far as that, um, I'm going to change around a couple of minutes. I'm going to still keep him as my main player. Uh, actually, the big guys are playing the best uh, as far as that. We'll down Tyce Jones minutes, and Isaac Okoro's finally starting to grow into his own. So, happy for Okoro. Uh, Jalen Green, still the number one option. Yep, so I'll see you guys now at the end of the year. We're 30-22, and 22, so we're definitely making the playoffs. It just depends on how good we are now, or how good we are at the end of the season. That makes more sense as a sentence. So... 53 and 29 definitely made the playoffs i definitely think we're definitely a top four seed maybe the three seed like we were two years ago but luka Doncic, lebron james jr rookie of the year russell westbrook six man Giannis, moody trent peterson we actually win coach of the year so might be that number one seed in the eastern conference um let's see if we have any guys that make all nba teams um all nba second team for lebron james jr seems like kind of a glitch amoni already there lebron chet have nobody who make any of the NBA teams, no defensive teams, nothing. Uh, Cassius Winston somehow got was a rookie at age 26, and he's an 86 overall. That's absolutely insane. Um, so, yeah, as far as that, we are the number one seed in this conference. Let's look at the season stats. Uh, Jaron Jackson Jr., actually our leading scorer with 23 points per game. Jalen Green right behind him. Jared Allen at 19. Dante DiVincenzo, 17. Uh, Dante, Dante DiVincenzo off the bench, 14. Garland, 17. Um, Okoro averaging a nice 13 points. Josh Hart, a 7. Yeah, this team's just a super solid team, and I'm really happy with the team. So this might be the last year, depending on how good we do in this playoff. So Kobe White, Zach Levine, Patrick Williams. Uh, Laurie Markin and Rooney Gobert, Kyle Anderson now off the bench. So, same team we played last year. They still have Derrick Rose. They added Gallinari, Anthony Gill. So, we'll see how we do against this team. Should win in the first round. That's a 4 0 sweep. Pretty easy there. Now, going against a Philadelphia team with still Simmons, bringing Maxi into the starting lineup. Same with Thibel, uh, Thibel um, Tobias Harris, Embiid, and a pretty weak bench with Jakob Podol, Brandon Miller, Jeremy Lamb, and Ennis Cantor. Book Knight off the bench, he really never developed here in the NBA. So let's simulate the rounds. We only give up one game to them. So we're 8 and 1 so far in the playoffs, now going against a LaMelo ball led Hornets team. So we have LaMelo, Evan Fournier, Gordon Hayward, who's digressed, uh, PJ Washington, Yusuf Nurkic, Grant Riller, Nick Richards, uh, Tannen Sharon, Tannen, Terrence Shannon Jr., Zach Collins, Shriek O'Neal. So they have a decent team. The only player I'm really afraid of is LaMelo Ball. Besides that, um, let's see how we do. 
damn, eliminated in the conference finals. Uh, that's pretty disappointing. Uh, this is going to be a pretty speedy last year of this rebuild. This this year will be the last year we actually lose to the champions, so that is tough. But I will see you guys at the very end of the offseason. I'll give you basically a recap of what happens. But basically the goal will be bring back Okoro, run this team back the exact same way. We'll progress and see how we do. So in the last year of this rebuild, this will be the last season. Uh, Jared Allen stays at 89. Jaron goes up to an 89. Uh, we bring back Jalen Green. Still, he's kind of stuck as far as uh, progressing wise, but still an 87, pretty nice. Uh, Garland gets a little bit better. Okoro continues to get better. Brought him back on a qualifying offer. Couldn't get a long-term deal done. DiVincenzo will lead the bench group behind uh, Diabiti, Josh Hart, and then I actually brought in a Jalen Adams, who's out of St. Bonaventure. Um, he's an older player, but it seems like he really progressed last season for some reason. But brought him back to be the backup point guard instead of Ty Jones. And then I drafted this Brooke Miller guy who is a 72 overall. But uh, as far as training camps, we are going to go with all things that will help us improve like this season. So um, we're going to go big man offense to Jarrett Allen, see if we can pre increase him there. We're going to go perimeter defense to Jalen Green, try to help his defense. And then we are going to actually go perimeter shooting to Isaac Okoro, who is a now a better three-point shooter. Um, but this will be the final year of this rebuild. Uh, as far as the rotation, this should be pretty simple. We're going to go uh, Garland, Green, Okoro, Jackson Jr., Jarrett Allen, uh, Dante DiVincenzo as our sixth man, Diabati or Diabiti. I've said it like 30 different times this video, 30 different ways. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to roll with these nine guys this year and I really like this team as far as uh, scores keep this exactly the same I like how it was uh, maybe uh, you know what we had a good job doing pick and roll offense last year we got some really nice pick and roll guys this year so we'll keep that and then as far as system proficiency unless there's anything higher than four stars there's not we'll go seven seconds I'm happy with that um, so yeah we'll see you guys at the end of this year final year of the rebuild see how this Cavaliers team does so at the end of the final year of this rebuild if this isn't our year to win I don't know what year it is we are 62 and 20 Luka Doncic random rookie uh, rookie of the year Killian Hayes six man uh, I wonder who he's backing up for it's actually interesting Tretch Peterson we are absolutely killing it so as far as that let's see if we get anybody actually on a all NBA team this year um, defense anybody uh, the Detroit Pistons actually had the Rookie of the Year at an 83. That's pretty funny. Uh, so, yeah. So, we are obviously the one seed. This was our best year by far. Let's look at the season stats. Jaron Jackson Jr. with 23 points per game. Absolutely killer year. Jalen Green up to an 88 now with 23. Jared Allen close to 20 and 10. Oh, my. 20 and 14. Never mind. Ugh. Darius Garland at 16. DiVincenzo at 14. Okoro at 14. Josh Hart with six off the bench. Uh, Musa Diabiti. It's the last time I'm saying that name, I promise, so you don't have to hear it anymore. And then Jalen Adams. This was by far my best team. Let's just like, I just want to show you guys the roster, just see these overalls 90, 89, 88, 88, 85, 81, 81, 79, 79. So this is our best team by far. Uh, so I really hope that we win the NBA Finals this year. But that being said, we still have to go against some good teams. Uh, Shea, Jimmy, Rui, Bam, Victor Oladipo off the bench. We didn't have a trouble with him a couple of years ago, but hey, who knows? It's 2K. One in five games there. No trouble here. The team that kicked us out of the playoffs in the last year's NBA champion is LaMelo Ball. A 86 overall, Nico Mannion. That will never happen. Uh, Yusuf Nurkic, Justin Robinson off the bench, Dennis Schroeder. Uh, still nervous about this team just because it's LaMelo, but hey, we beat if we get past this team i think we can beat any team we beat them in five going against now the same 76ers team uh they're trying something new they moved simmons over to the power forward instead of the point guard put book knight in the starting lineup and they have marcus howard it looks like they got rid of matisse thibel uh let's simulate the round Oof, one and four now going against the warriors mikey williams davion mitchell andrew wiggins reggie perry James Wiseman, you know, Anobi. So a lot of different names. Scotty Barnes. Uh, a lot of different names before we... Actually, you know what? Let's sim the series and then look at playoff stats. Let's hope we win the fine. 
we lose in five games, and Mikey Williams was the finals MVP, so I'm now one for two in winning finals with, like, so I won with the Pistons, and then I've lost with the Rockets, and I've lost with the Cavaliers. Uh, I know I would win the NBA Finals if I kept coming back over and over again to try to see if I could win it. But let's see playoff stats. Jaron, Jalen, and Jarrett, the Triple J's. But with uh, those names, yeah, they were awesome. Darius Garland, Okoro, Dante DiVincenzo. Yeah, I guess if we had to, we could have cut down on some minutes for the bench guys in the NBA Finals. But I really like this team. So I'm 1-2 and two in rebuilds, and I think that was a pretty successful one for the Cavaliers. They win their first couple playoff series, or they've made the playoffs for the first time since drafting LeBron in 2003. So basically the Cavaliers, anytime LeBron's been on their team, they make the playoffs. Ever since LeBron has left, any years that he has not been on the Cavaliers, they haven't made the playoffs since 2003. We finally make the playoffs. We draft a really good player. We made the signing for Jaron Jackson Jr. But overall, this was basically the core group of guys that they have right now, uh, plus Jalen Green throughout the entire video. So I think the Cavs have a really promising future here, and I was really happy to rebuild this Cavaliers team. It was a whole lot of fun. So stay, for, stay tuned to the Raptors be rebuild. I'm going to try to get that one in by the end of the week for the weekend, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this Cavaliers number three overall pick rebuild with Jalen Green. I think that's who they should go with unless somehow Mobley falls to them, but re-signed Jarrett Allen. We traded Sexton after one year. And we got rid of Kevin Love with that same deal. All those pieces allowed us to get to where we were, cleared up a lot of cap space. So I think this Cavaliers team has a promising future. So I'm excited to see what they do. And peace.